The worst thing a company can do is allow a sales rep to get involved in the response to the redlining. And what I mean by that is no sales rep should be able to accept a change, comment back on a change, delete anything. The only responsibility of the sales rep should be send the red line document to your attorney, your contracts administrator, your paralegal. You should not be able to touch the document. Quite often someone will say, well, wouldn't it be faster if we allowed the sales rep to do it? And I think there's, there's two things here. One is absolutely they should not be given the ability to uh, at, at will change a document that you've sent out. What I do think is valuable though is they could be like triage on the battlefield. Did the document come back with a substantial amount of red lines that looked very serious, which must be elevated to a, a senior lawyer? Or did they come back in a modest form and format? I'll give you some examples. Did they change more business terms, payment terms, renewal, things that don't have to go to attorney. Maybe they go to a deal room or a contracts administrator. So I think the real role of the, of the salesperson is, since you're the receiver, take a look at it because it might help you actually route it. And you might take something that doesn't really have much in the way of changes and you don't want to stick it to a senior attorney who gets backlogged send it to someone that might be able to respond in the first five or ten minutes. The moment that you're allowing them to touch a word-based redline document, you're adding a risk element. And the risk element can range from some term has changed financially, could be payment terms, could be auto renew versus uh, no, we have to notify you of renewal, some more economic terms, but it also go, can, can touch things that ultimately involve litigation down the road around SLAs, support, um, other requirements that you've now signed up to. And the worst thing is to sign up for a bunch of things that your support team, your operations team, and everyone who has to really respond to that, like, well, we can't do that, or you know, we would have never agreed to that. So the risk is two front. It's, it's the economic piece of it, but then it's also the liability around what you've promised the customer.